Hey everyone, <laughs> so it's finally that time. My dream has come true. Look what I'm wearing here. First, my Laker hat right here, and then I'm wearing my Steph Curry jersey because I am gonna do a basketball shit around and tribute to, you know, basically these two teams. As you can see why I'm wearing the jersey and the hat. Because you know what? The Lakers and Warriors are finally facing off in the Western Conference. Semi-finals on Dream Come True is going to be the best series, or should I say the best semi-conference finals series in the Western Conference since the Spurs and the Mavs in 2006. Ooh, I remember that series was, you know, it was a lot of grind out games, you know, every close game with the exception of game two, uh, you know, going all the way to the end of game seven in which the Mavs went overtime. But anyway, uh, aside from that point, it's Steph versus LeBron part five. And um, wow, yeah, it came to this point. I, I mean, I even predicted these teams were gonna, were, were gonna face each other in the semifinals when the playoff brackets were set. No one wanted to believe me. I even had my coworker Terrence telling me to calm down, Jay. We'll see what happens. I'm like, no, I know it's gonna happen. And guess what? I proved him. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be the most exciting series yet, and I gotta tell you, before I make my prediction, man, um, you know, I, like, it's gonna be exciting uh, for a lot of people. It's gonna draw a lot of TV ratings, um, and for me personally, too, because I know, I, and I, I gotta admit, it's, it's gonna be a lot of drama for for how I started out supporting the Warriors um, when the Lakers became irrelevant, especially when the times Kobe was well, Kobe was on his way to retirement already. That that year he retired, the Warriors and Steph. Steph was on a rise. He was on a drastic rise to being the best shooter. Uh, well, as this, for me, I'll say three point shooter as well. Um, re revolutionized the the game, especially from the three point line. <laughs> I mean, that year that Kobe retired, Steph revolutionized the the, the game of basketball. It's where everyone is now shooting bricks. You know. You know, driving kick, more driving kicks, more ISOs, and you know, but then, yeah, and, and that's why I started doing my shoot arounds um, because of him. And now I'm even starting to shoot deeper threes now, and I'm getting better at it since um, since 2019. But yeah, those years when the Warriors um, were rising, the Lakers were really irrelevant, even though there was a time when they almost made the playoffs in 2018, didn't happen. And then after that finals, uh, 2019, when Clay went down and uh, Kevin Durant, the Warriors, ever since Steph started to, to, to get injured, he hurt his hand to start of 2020, 2019, 2020 season, the Warriors became irrelevant and the Lakers started becoming relevant when uh, LeBron got AD. And from there, they became a dominant force. I remember that the first year they were number one in the West and the Warriors were total shit because both Steph and Clay were out and no more KD obviously. And then 2021, you know, Steph was there, then yeah, out of the play-in. And then the Lakers were in the play-in. Huh. They beat them in a, in that play-in scenario, but there's still no Clay Thompson. So huh. and then um, you know, and then they got out of the first round. But the Lakers were becoming more relevant than the Warriors at that point. And then 2022, obviously, the Lakers had West Brick and made me support the Warriors more. Huh. And y'all could say I was joking around and shit, you know, but um, when it came down to, you know, the Lakers got eliminated completely from play off and play in contention. And then Warriors uh, then eventually made the finals and won their fourth title, which with with Clay coming back, you know, still trying to be himself. And which he did eventually. And now this year, this season, I know the Lakers are still total shit. You know, we still had West Brick. I had the Warriors going back to the finals, uh, even when they had the shitty, the shitty ass road record. But boy, oh boy, <laughs> man. And after that trade deadline, we became relevant again. The Lakers became relevant again. LeBron and AD with better pieces. And the Warriors also became um, relevant again. And, you know, they were getting better somewhat despite the road record. <laughs> but look what it came to now. Now it's LeBron AD versus Steph and Clay, both fully healthy teams. Man. So 
I'm going to say this, man. The, the, this series is going to go all the way to seven games without a doubt. There is no guaranteed sweep or gentleman sweep between any of these two teams. I'm not going to... This is a series that, you know, unlike most of the other series, um, I'm, that I'm not going to beat my chest over. Because I got a lot of respect for Golden State. I also got, uh, you know, I'm a Lakers fan as well, but I got a lot of respect for Golden State for what they've done, setting incredible records, especially Steph himself. And especially having that historic 50 point performance in uh um in sacramento for game seven incredible man no one's ever done that in the history of the nba so proud to him and um for this basketball shooter run i am going to do a three-point shootout <laughs> in tribute to his game seven performance the 50 points that that um that nobody has ever done in the history of the nba and uh yeah so for me it's it's um it's gonna be tough with lakers although lakers have the advantage uh, with the bigs i still think the warriors are overall are just gonna find their way to to just win it all they've been there done that been down three and one uh and then coming back being down three and two they've been there even down oh and two look at that they still made it out of Sac uh out of sacramento the first time opponent and that we're 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 the other first, first time opponent so huh and if I got to be realistic, guys, um, when it comes down to predictions, and I did say seven games, right? As much as I love, you know, the Lakers and the Warriors, I know I'm a, I'm a long-time Laker fan, but, you know, I just still can't stand the fact that LeBron is still on the team. But, um, you know, I love D'Angelo Russell's my guy. AD has been, doing, has been impressing me time to time. I, I, I always give him the the prize when he's doing awesome and but you know as much as i want the lakers to win i really want them to win and i want to prove them to prove uh, they can defeat the defending champs not just from last year but from years past but i think i want to go have to go with the warriors in seven and a really close win what but i think i want to go have to go with the warriors in seven and a really close win you don't say um it's going to be the warriors you don't say. It's gonna be the Warriors. You don't say. Fuck you. Because, um, I mean, they pretty much had the same core of Dre, Steve Kerr, Steph and Clay uh, together for, for eight years now. They know what they're gonna do. They know what they've done. So, I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, realistically, speaking of an NBA analyst perspective, I think it's gonna be the Warriors. Um, beating the Lakers. Now, even if the Lakers lose, I'm not going to see this as a as a disappointment because um, <laughs> because they've been, you know, nobody thought that they were going to make the playoffs, but they did. And even if they're out of the second round, it's a positive because at least they exceeded their expectations. They're going to be a much better team going to next season. Hopefully, if they keep the same pieces. As for the Warriors, if they advance again. I got them going back to the finals and they're going to be Denver or Phoenix and they're going to be whoever's in the finals. And I'm pretty sure they're going to win their back to back and the, their quest for a three-peat will begin next season. Much love for Stephen Clay. You know, once again, for my basketball shoot around, I was like, this is where um, this dude inspired me. And all of a sudden, I just, with all that sheer luck and inspiration, I started to shoot deep threes more. <laughs> yeah, Mario, you heard me. <laughs> So anyways, uh, it's going to be a fun series. It's going to be a grind out series. It's going to be a lot of close games, I bet. I hope even with the revel the, the three-point uh, shooting just becoming more relevant now. But yeah, so um, wish these two the best of luck. I'll still be a Laker fan no matter what. I mean, even if the Lakers advance, I mean, it'll still hurt to see the Warriors go down because I will not be seeing Steph the rest of the way. But nevertheless, it's going to be so much fun. And I know I'm going to get roasted if the Warriors advance, <laughs> but um, it is what it is, you know. I don't want anyone thinking here that I'm just uh, bandwagoning the Warriors. Yeah, I supported them, but fuck you. You know, and deep in my heart, I know I'm still a Laker fan. I'll still be purple and gold no matter what. You don't say. So, anyways, um, this basketball shoot around I'm, I'm doing is um, is in tribute to this series, which starts tonight for Game One. And I'm going to do three-point shooting here, and then I'm going to set a timer here. Uh, and I, I, I'll tell you um, how much time I have for this. So anyways, I'm going to cut it and then, you know, wish these two teams the best of luck. 
and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully the Lakers will make it out. If not, if the Warriors make it out, you know, either way, congrats, to these, congrats. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna cut the tape right here, and you know, good luck, guys. <laughs> That's all I can say. Good luck, Bron. Good luck, Steph. And um, you know, more power to y'all. Keep being the best that you can be. All right. Says Golden State, not Lakers. But that's because my my best friend right here. You see her? She's hot, isn't she? Um, she is a, a true Warriors fan. Uh, so you might know her already. Uh, it's Mari. Yeah, <laughs> she's been pushing me into um, continuing being a Warriors fan. But you know, I gotta stay loyal to my purple gold. As you can see in my cap right here. But um, anyways, I'm you know the Warriors winning. I'll be out there to continue supporting them with her. As you know, I'll continue to do basketball she as well. I'd love to see Steph out there going forward. It does, you know, sad, but at least the Lakers will win it. We'll just see what happens in this series. So anyways, I'll let her down this one for sure. So I'm doing a three-point shoot around. And the one interesting thing I'm going to do is, by the way, those of you know, I'm going to Even though we're enemies in this series, and we're, and we're but we're technically best friends at the very end. That's right. But we're technically best friends at the very end. That's right. That's right, darling. So, I'm gonna set the timer right here. Uh, you see this right here? Six minutes and 30 seconds. The six basically represents um, LeBron, and uh, LeBron's jersey number, and Steph, obviously, is 30, so. Uh, uh, because he's wearing number 30 in his jersey. We have two of the, two of and two of the most popular players now in today's NBA still, and over the last few years. So I'm gonna start at this time, and then hopefully I can make some threes. Wish you best of luck. Let's see however I can make. All right, ready, set, go.
or do. Uh, man. So I only made two threes out here. Do I blame the fucking wind? Who knows? So, you know that I don't shoot threes very well when it comes to the windy weather. So who knows what? Man, whose shoes are those? They're interesting. But yeah, um, at least I give it a try. I only made a couple, but maybe next year I'll get better. I don't know if it's because of the timing of this or what. My just has been fucking humid too. <laughs> Even if it's cold, so. Anyways, it's nice to be here on the, in the start of May. I got the credit for being here again. So, enough of all that talking. And uh, the uh, Lakers and Warriors will face off tonight. Good luck to them. And I'll see you all in the next basketball shooter episode. And I can't, so peace.